Manchester United fan Shaban is back in the studio to hopefully convince Reds it's not all that bad, is it, Shaban? It's not all that bad. Don't you think this is all a little bit far-fetched, the debates that no, are being had, no. the stories that are being written? You don't think it's a little bit too much, two no, games into no, the season? No, no, no. Three it's, man- it's Manchester United, six. Shaban. Yeah, but it's also needing time. It's no, under no, a no, huge no, no. redo. You know that it is. No, it isn't it? How much time what do you want, then? Shaban? What is it? Pardon? No. How much time do you want as a Man United fan? Well, they need to give Eric Ten Hag another season, of course. Look at the imp- at the improvements that they've had under yeah. Entag- Eric Ten Hag last season. I mean, it's been absolutely incredible. The one thing that he has done so right is brought discipline back to Manchester United, which yes. was missing for quite some time. So you've got to give them that. They've got rid of the hardest player to deal with in world football and Cristiano Ronaldo. He managed that situation properly. He's revived... He's still walking that side. Pardon? He'd still walk in that Yeah, side. he gave them 18 goals that season. They still wanted rid of them, but he also brought problems to Manchester United. Yeah. Well, you handle them problems. That's what being a manager is all about, and man that's management. What, and that's what he's done. He's been there over 12 months. You've got to look at Mikel Arteta and his plan as well. Arteta's first full season at Arsenal, he finished eighth. Then it was fifth. Last season, it was second. So time is important. Also, Marcus well, where Rashford... Where are they going to finish this year then? Well, if they can finish top four and manage another trophy. Is that good enough, top I think four? It, you want more from Manchester Manchester United, don't you? But it's the first trophy they won last season since 2017. Two trips to a final, a win at Wembley. They're two games into the season. They've got three points from six. Uh, Lucky three points. Lucky three points, I'll give you that. The performances haven't been great, but they're playing Marcus Rashford in his out-of-favoured position. Uh, Rasmus Hoyland apparently is in training and might be on the bench this weekend. They're still waiting for that to get ready. Okay, Casemiro's a little bit off it. I must say he has improved the midfield along with Christian Eriksen where there has been problems. Does look off it so far this season, but you're two games in. You always say that they need time, Alan. You always say that. Ten Hag got you some tickets for a game. That would be nice. (laughs) (laughs) What's going on here? Oh, he's going to tell me go off my high horse. I I, I totally agree with you. Give Give him a bit of time. But I think Manchester United, you know, they're still talked about as the biggest club you know, in the Premier League, aren't they? So people are always going to have the debates about Manchester United could do better. And it's a performances as well. Gaps two performances poor. have been they poor. Have been poor. But it's two games in, like he says. Absolutely. Miles behind City. Let's look at City this time last season as well. Drew 3 all to Newcastle. I'm sure it was this weekend last season. Which and is then, not a bad result. Though. Not a bad result, but they still drop points. And then the weekend after that, they drew against Villa 1-1. Nobody was calling for Pep's head then. I think it's the narrative against Eric Ten Hag now and Adrian Durham saying, is he really that good? It's quite an unfair thing to say. No, no, no. At 12 months at the club. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm with Adrian here. I'm looking closely at Ten Hag this year. I think we're all watching closely, but can you give him two games? Three points at six? No, I'm not saying get rid of him. I'm just saying the signs are not good at this moment. That's what I'm saying. They lost lost 3-0 in a a friendly to Burnley as well. I was just going to say that, but you've gone in there first with it, Gabby. That's that's another loss. That's not good. Is it 3-0 against Burnley? But you've got to look at the players and it wasn't your your usual starting 11 as well. Also, Hoyland, there's a lot of pressure on him as well you know over 70 million spent on him if he can do the job up front as well it'll be interesting to see you can't judge it now at two games into the season maybe 10 games then we can have this conversation you're in a feisty mood aren't you so, <laughs> I'm just so, ready for you are you well you're ready for Darren Darren welcome good morning Darren good morning Darren the morning, Arsenal Darren. fan morning. put her straight doing? Darren will you put her straight dear oh dear <laughs> uh, but mate, I, I, I can't stand hearing about Man United and time 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 Alex but you're an Arsenal fan? Long... Huh? But you're an Arsenal fan? Of course I'm an Arsenal fan. <laughs> so how much time did Arteta get? Oh, well, Arteta had a, what, a season and a half. A season and a half. The first season he finished eighth, then he finished fifth, and then last season he finished second. So that's right. time. So that's, a, that's basically a season and a half, basically. Because remember, he never started a brand new season. He started a season and a half. Yeah. He came in, and then all of a sudden, by the third season, it was started off rocket flying. Yep. Ten Hag, Ten Hag has gone in and spent a lot of money. Arteta hasn't spent a, when he first went in. He never spent a lot of money. He never spent a lot of money. He had to get a lot. He had to get rid of a lot of players. Ten Hag has gone in there and spent a lot of money, and the results are still exactly the same. How much time does he need? The results aren't exactly the same. You cannot say that. They've won the first trophy that they'd won since 2017. So the results are very different. Uh, In 12 Man- months... This is, Manchester United. this is Manchester United. The Carabao Cup is not what the fans want them to be winning. They won't want to be winning the You won't be cup. saying that when you win it. You won't be saying that. I, I would be saying that. 
I would be saying that. So if I, Arsenal I win the Carabao I, Cup, you'd be saying we don't care about that, or it's not important. I, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying I don't care about it. I'm saying that it's all right. It's all right. But I want to be screaming winning the bigger cups. I yeah, want to no, be screaming th- winning the bigger cups. Listen, Darren. There's no doubt that Manchester United fans want that as well. But it's not going to happen overnight. It needs time. Arteta has been given time. I remember every single time Arsenal played, it was Arteta out, Arteta out, and now you're back to I, happier I, I, days. I never said- if you know, if you know about football, if you know about football, you give you do give people time. But Man United give managers time, 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 and it's the same thing over again. All you just do is flash money. It's Twelve months. Take away the money. Take away the money, and then give uh, Ten Hag time. Then I would respect that. But don't da- give him all the money as well, and then say time, time, time. It's the same recipe. Dan, and what do you make of the Arsenal so far? Only two games in. Are you going to push City closer this year? Oh, I'm a, I'm just a bit uh, wary about the strike force. Um, Oh, no, 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 Darren, also and spent a good and amount me. of money. You, you have to be challenging City. Have to be. Yeah, yeah, you have to get a statement striker. Sometimes when you're playing in the Premier League and you come up against the big boys, that even just Haaland stepping out on the pitch, the, that, the, the full process is in the head already. Yeah. Darren, thank you. For, thank you for your call, Darren. Thanks, Darren. Thank you, Darren. I, I, I think Darren's got a point there. I, I think Eddie's a good player. Yeah. But... He's not prolific, and I don't think he will be prolific. Whereas Haaland, you know what you're going to get of him come the end of the season. I think Arsenal well, need a goal scorer. They need I, I, listen, I, to- I totally agree. Quick. But last season, I think they finished six goals um, less than Man- uh, Manchester City. They, they do that spread. Was the difference. They do spread their goals. Last though. nine games, one only three. Yeah, but that, I think that was more defensively losing Saliba. But the money Arsenal have spent, Declan Rice, Havertz. Timber, obviously he's out injured. They need to be challenging Manchester City. You can't hear Arsenal fans say that Manchester United, time, time, time. Arsenal now need to be really, really, really challenging. So, Shaban, will United bounce back against Forest? Yes. A prediction? Oh, 2-0. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.